I have done it. You guys loved it, and I'm doing it again. Never do this in scratch. Episode three. If you're not familiar of what I'm talking with, go check out the previous two videos. Links are in the description below. And in this episode two, I'll be testing out some of the comments from our community to see if they break scratch. So let's dive in and see what happens. So Tech Solution commented, "If you import 200 plus costumes, you can break scratch." So I think this is legit because 200 costumes is a lot. Scratch Cat is kind of lonely, so let's just import 200 plus costumes. Why not? So let's import 200 plus costumes. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's importing. So this is gonna take a while because it's 200 plus costumes. So we have passed 100, nothing breaks. Cool. So now you can see we passed 200 and nothing's happening. So I think Scratch doesn't break if we import 200 plus costumes. So let's just wait until Scratch imports all. And oh, there's the white screen. So yeah, I'm not sure the exact value because we imported more than 200 costumes. But at some point, Scratch breaks if you import like 300 or 200 plus costumes. So open Scratch again. So our next comment is from Bombstar13. If you grab any block that makes you type it in, like pick a random two and move step as an example, and you type a very big value, the scratch window will slowly fade away until you go back. So you just need to grab a block where you can input some values and just keep typing. And as you can see, we are just moving away from scratch window and now the scratch window does not exist. But this isn't deadly at all, like you can go back using your left arrow, yes. Or you could just simply use the slider. There you go. So it does not like break scratch, but yeah, it's cool. Bruh. He made a commented. If you create a custom block, then put the block into the backpack. Okay, you have a custom block without a custom app block. Okay, this means we need to switch to the online editor. So when you create a custom block, you will get this app block every time because you need that to run it. But now, if you just drag this block onto your backpack and then let's just go with surprise, okay, the dough. And then when you drag the block from your backpack, you won't get your hat block. So this is just another useless block. And no, it's not connected to your original hat block. So let's just test it. So normally if we click this sub block, it would change the call effect. But let's go for the dough. You can see nothing happens because this sub block doesn't have a half block. Wow, this is so mind blowing. Daniel Pietro official TM commented other cool thing. Search person 15 in scratch, copy the square. We did that on the second episode. Go to sound, search any sound you like and paste the square. Then go to code again and then where's the other palettes? So let's do it. Let's search for person 15. And then you'll get the square thing, copy it, and then let's go for sounds and rename it. And let's go for code again. And the palace just disappeared. Wow, we just got the motion, looks, and sound. And that's it. And just to play sound block. So, what will happen if we name the costume? Okay, nothing happens. Okay. And now we only got loop, so just five blocks of loop. So I renamed the sounds and even the costumes too. Wow, this is really mind blowing. So let's just try the brack drops too. Now let's do it. Wow, this is just crazy. Just one block for the backdrops. Wow, and the cat just have the motions and five loop blocks. So this would not at all happen normally, but this is a really cool glitch. XX underscore Arcadium underscore XX The glitch on Scratch is that if you make a clone of a sprite, then remove the original sprite, this code will still be there. So we are testing this with Scratch Cat. So when Green Flag click create a clone and I start as a clone forever, we need to go to random position and change our color effect by 25 just for the aesthetics. So let's just add some other blocks. And now let's run it. 
and I can see the code is running beautifully. Yeah, deleting the scratch card. And wow, the code is still running. And the most important thing, the code is still there. So normally, if you delete a sprite, the code would disappear with the sprite, which should happen. But wow, the code is still there. And if you stop it, yeah, it's still there. So let's just try to save this. And now let's try reloading the project. This time on Turbo App. And yep, there is no code and nothing happened. So this bug is kind of helpful because if you accidentally delete the sprite, the code is still there. So you could take some screenshot and have some backup. So able commenter, so this is a really long procedure. Just found an unstoppable way to confuse Scratch. Add the text to speech extension, add a message and name it, okay. Put in the have block when I receive message connect with the speak block and put in any word in the input now put a when green flag click block alone put the bow cross block in a forever loop with no delay start the project as you can see it is now pretty loud and i'm telling you you can't stop it especially by pressing the stop sign oh this looks deadly so let's try it so every time i do something i have to reopen scratch so let's use the tick to speed so now as Abel said, it should be really loud, and now let's test it. Here goes nothing. Let's try stopping it. Okay, <laughs> never do that again. So, what happens if we just remove the broadcast? Would you do the same thing? Subscribe to SL Smart Mind. Subscribe to SL. It's so, okay. That doesn't happen with the forever loop. Just when you broadcast. Wow, that's deadly. Wow, that's so so broken. Not pending. I found a way that breaks scratch. First, make a custom block, then drag the define block and press backspace. And now you have a custom block without a define block. Note, you can't edit or delete from the block palette. And now let's press the backspace key and it should delete the block. And yes, it deleted and now we got another useless block. Wow, this is so deadly. So yes, you can undo it, but wow. If you are used to deleting blocks using the backspace, yeah, don't do this on my blocks. So normally if you just delete the blocks by right clicking, it would delete the other block as well. But if you just press the backspace, it would delete only the head block. Drana M. Tall Minecraft Curse version commented, I found another way to crash scratch. Make a new sprite, add set mode to draggable, okay. Then go to the new sprite sound library, remove all the sounds of the new sprite. Then go to the new backdrop sound step, add any sound you want, drag the new sprite, exit full screen mode, you crash scratch. Okay, let's test that out. So we got Scratch Cat. We need to when green flag click forever set mode to draggable. Got backdrop on the sounds and we got another backdrop. So let's just add another sound. So we added another sound for the backdrop. So let's go for full screen mode. Flag click, just drag the sprite. And now you go for the sound step and delete. Now we should go for backdrops, go full screen mode, drag the scratch cat again, and boom. So I don't know what happened there, but that really confused scratch. So this is another blue screen error on scratch. So yeah, don't do that. So Rocky commented, tip, use sprite, set color effects to 100 and wow, invert. Okay, that's pretty odd. So when green flag click forever, we need to set color effect to 100. And then you get this kind of blue color. So invert, I think it's negative 100. And now it's just this. And that's the exact same thing. So I think that's what he meant. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. So if you know, make sure to comment down below. So if you normally go for a negative values, you will get a slightly different one. But on 100, nope, it's just the original one. So I think that's Chinese, Japanese, Korean, I don't know. Use the thing that pop up in searching bar on variables and create a new character to put some codes. Go to another sprite and come back. The codes disappear. Oh, that's cool. So we got a lot of code here. So let's make a variable. Use that square thing and click OK. 
And oh, where did the variable controls go? It disappeared. So let's go for another sprite. So it's there. And come back. And the code disappears too. So we got the variable controls, but all the codes just disappeared. There's absolutely nothing. Like, wow. Again, this won't happen when you're normally coding because you won't copy that square thing and put it on the code. But if you do, you lost all your progress. Don't ever do that. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. And make sure to check out this video where I show you some useful hacks in Scratch. See you in the next one.